Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Seema Rath. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this makeup look for a date night. I'm starting off with a clean face. I have also refreshed my hair and it is still a little damp. So I'm just going to put on this microfiber headband to keep my hair out of my face. I've already applied a face oil to keep my skin moisturized. First, I'm going in with the Color Bar Perfect Match Primer. I take a little bit on the tip of my fingers and apply it starting from the center of my face. I'm going to concentrate more on the T-zone to blur out the pores and give it a smooth finish. Next, I'm going to apply the Lakme 9 to 5 CC Cream in the shade Bronze. I take a little bit and dot it all over my face. This gives me a light coverage which is what I personally prefer. I wear foundations only if I have an event to attend or if I really feel like dressing up. After dotting my face with it, I just massage the cream in and it just gives me a nice even tone which I absolutely love. It also has SPF in it so if you are a little lazy like me then choose makeup products that already have SPF. I have two major problem areas on my face, my under eye circles and the darkness around my mouth. I am going to cover that up using a Maybelline Instant Age Divine Concealer which is in the shade Caramel. I am just going to twist it to get some product out and I will apply it all around my eyes. This got like a slight yellowish orange tinge which cancels out the dark circles. This concealer is medium to full coverage. I use a small amount for medium coverage and if I want full coverage I just build it up. I just dab the product using my fingers so that it blends well but stays put. Next, I am going to set my base with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Compact. This is in the shade 235 Pure Beige. I am first going in with the makeup sponge that comes with the compact. I take a little bit of the powder and dab it around my eyes. I do this to set the concealer and stop it from creasing around my eyes. Next, I am going to take this Pack 265 Flat Top Brush and apply the compact all over my face. I'm not a fan of that super glowy luminous look, I just prefer a matte look. Next I move on to my brows. I'm using the Innisfree Auto Eyebrow Pencil. This is in the shade Espresso Brown. First I use a spoolie to brush my hair in place and then I use the pencil to fill in the gaps. I don't like my eyebrows to be too dark or thick, that is why I have chosen a brown shade instead of a black one. After I'm done with my brows, I go in with the Revlon Highlighting Palette in the shade Bronze Gold. I use this palette to bronze my face. I take this angled face brush, I don't really remember which brand this is but it is super soft. I swirl it around the palette, dust off the excess and apply it under my cheekbones. Next I move on to contouring, for this I am using the face's eyeshadow palette in the shade Beechwood. I am just going to take a little bit of this matte brown shade which is perfect for contouring and apply it using my fingers. I just contour my nose and I use a pack flat top brush to blend it out. Moving on I am using the Wet n Wild highlighting powder in the shade Precious Petals. I am going to apply this on all the high points of my face like my cheekbone, my brow bone, the inner corners of my eye, bridge of the nose and the cupid's bow. Also you can find all the links to all the products I've used in the description box below. Coming to my eyes, I am using the Nykaa Rock the Line Kajal in the shade Jet Black. I am going to roughly line the upper lash line with this Kajal and I am going to take this Color Bar's angled eye defining brush and smudge out the kajal to give a soft finish. I am going to repeat the same on the other eye. Now with whatever is left on the brush, I am going to go in on the outer part of my lower lash line. Then I am going to lightly line the lower water line with the same kajal and finish off my eyes.
After this, I'm going to curl my lashes with this eyelash curler that I've had for many, many years. I don't even know which brand this is. Once I've curled my lashes, I'm going to apply the Maybelline Lash Sensational Waterproof Mascara to both my upper and lower lashes. Also, I do a lot of polls and Q&As on my Instagram to understand what you all like to see on my channel. So if you haven't started following me there, then please do. My handle is Seema Rath. Next, coming to my lips, because my lips are a little dark, I first use the same Maybelline concealer to cancel out the darkness. For this look, I am going in with the Sugar Nothing Else Matter Long Wear Lipstick in the shade Royal Redding. This is a beautiful red shade and using a concealer before applying the lipstick makes the colour pop. This is by far one of my favourite lipstick formulas. Lastly, I apply a blush to bring a little colour to my face. I'm going in with the Color Bar Luminous Rouge Blush in the shade Luminous Rose. I take the same angled brush that I use for bronzing and I apply a little bit on the apples of my cheeks and a tiny bit on my nose. If you feel like you've gone a little heavy on the blush, take a clean brush or your foundation brush and go over your cheeks and it will make it lighter. Now I'm going to take off the headband. My hair is now fully dry so I'm just going to fluff my roots, set my hair the way I like it and I'm done. So this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and share it with as many people as you can. Also, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then please hit the subscribe button and join the squad. Find me on Instagram and follow me there. My handle is Seema Rath. I'll see you soon with another video. Until then, bye.